Ella from Stillwell Ford. Today I'm here with the Escape and the Puma. They're part of our small SUV range. Lots of people ask me the differences between the two, so I'm here to show you the difference between the Escape and the Puma. So the Puma itself is a one litre EcoBoost engine. It pushes out 92 kilowatts, 5.3 litre combined fuel economy. The Escape is a two litre EcoBoost engine with an eight speed transmission. It pushes out 183 kilowatts, and the combined fuel consumption is 8.6. So the boot size of the Escape is 556 litres, whereas the Puma boot size is 410 litres. The Puma, one of the things that I love about this is with the boot space, you can pull this up and you can actually put it further down. So say if you need a little bit more room for baggage or luggage or whatever, you can pop it down. If you've gone and done your shopping and you want it up higher, you can pop it back up. So under this one, you've got the space saver, so you don't really have much room to move it up and down. So the Escape is 13 centimetres higher than the Puma, and the Escape is 42 centimetres longer than the Puma, and it's 33 centimetres wider as well. So if you find parking a challenge, you've got small kids, the Puma is definitely the way to go. If you've got teenagers, and you have a little bit more space to park in, the Escape's the way to go. So depending on what variant of the Escape or Puma you go for, the tech is a little bit different. So I'm not going to go over them today, but some of the same features that we have across is the same 8-inch display with the Apple CarPlay, Android Auto and Ford Sync 3 system. The Escape does come with the digital shifter and the electric handbrake button, which gives you a little bit more room around this area here. So in the Puma, you still have the manual shifter and the manual handbrake. So the seat is all the way up in this one and I've still got a good seven to eight centimetres above my head to the ceiling. So I'm in the Puma and I've got the seat the furthest way it goes up. You can see I've still got that seven or eight centimetres of height from my head to the roof. So in the back of the Escape, there is a fair bit of room, uh, lots of leg room for teenagers and stuff. Now you can also pull the bar under the seat forward to give you a little bit more boot space. So now I'm in the back of the Puma. Little bit less leg room than the Escape, so definitely better for smaller passengers. If you're looking for something small, sporty and economical, the Puma is definitely the way to go. And if you're looking for something a little bit bigger with a little bit more grunt, bit of space, the Escape's the way to go. We've got plenty of these in stock down here. So if you wanted to come have a look at the Puma or Escape, let us know, give us a call and we can organise a test drive with me or one of the team.